Okay, so uh, currently we are learning about some uh, MIPS instructions, right? So last time we looked at the arithmetic operation. Operations and also logical operations. Okay, and so for this one, we learn about the MIPS assembly code. Assembly. Uh, for this assembly, we can read, but actually this is not readable by the machine, right? So for the machine, we have to change this assembly code to the machine language. Machine code, which is just binary, okay? So this is binary code. Okay, so uh, today we will learn about this binary representation for each uh, MIPS operations. Okay, so we learn about that, that instruction, each instruction. Uh, each instruction, sir, each, each instruction is encoded in the binary, okay, which is called machine code. Uh, this binary format is uh, different depending on the each uh, architecture. So for instance, we are learning about the MIPS architecture. So MIPS has some kind of insertion format and ARM has a different format or Intel has a different format. So each uh, instruction set architecture has a different formats. So we, from this class, we learn about the MIPS instruction. Uh, in the MIPS instruction, um, each instruction is encoded as 32-bit instruction. Sorry, to be binary. So one, sorry, two bit is representing one instruction, okay? Because this is one word. So each word is representing one instruction. Um, The number of encoding operation called OP code, number of OP code is not so high because we are learning about the LISC machine, right? Reduce instruction set computer machine. So what each instruction has a little bit less fixed and also number of operations are not so high. Number of operation is not so high. And the register, number of registers are quite, a large compared with the CISC. So we learn about that. Uh, number, of instruction, uh, number of register is actually 32 in the uh, MIPS architecture. And the format of the instruction, each instruction is very regular. Okay, So we learn about this uh, format. The reason of regularity is if the instruction format is getting complex, then it takes more time to decode each instruction. So that's the main reason. Okay, so let's go over the rest number. So uh, in the MIPS, MIPS has uh, three formats. Three format, which means that for given 32 bit, there are three Uh, decoding formats, okay? So for this sorry, two bit. The first format is R format, R type or R format. R means it is register, register format. Okay, second one is I format. I means is immediate. Maybe you can guess. So add, for instance, add, are belonging, add is belonging to this R format. Subtraction is also belonging to this format. And, uh, or, okay. So these operations are belonging to this R format. I format in case, uh, if we are specifying the constant value in the assembly code, then it is translated to the I format. So add I, and I or I. So these instructions are belong to, to I format. And also let's think of a load instruction, load instruction case. 
dollar one, and dollar two, for instance, and then here we are specifying constant value, right? So constant is immediate. So load instruction also belong to I format, and store instruction is also belong to the I format. Okay, and then we will learn about the some other instruction which is belong to the I format. The last one is J format. So J means it's jump. So we didn't know about this J format instructions, but anyway, any uh, some instruction which is uh, which are related with the jump that is translated to the J format. Okay, so we learn about that. So first we will learn R format. So R format case is like this: and add dollar one, dollar two. Three. So we need the three registers, okay? So let's try to divide 32 bit into the some area. So there are 32 bit. So let's say this is last bit and this is the most bit, okay? So one. Okay, so then, um, the first six bit, the six bit is called OP code. Okay, OP code. Actually, OP code is containing the operation. So think about the add, add dollar one, dollar two, dollar three. And then we have to specify the registers, right? Registers. So how many registers in the MIPS? The number of register in the MIPS? Yeah, it is 32. So then to specify the 32 two values, two, 32 cases, how many bits do we need? So for 32, how many bits do we need? to specify what is the two to the, yeah, two to the five. Two to the five is 32, right? So to specify each register number, we need five bit. Okay, so uh, in the MIPS assembly code, this is this, destination, register destination. This is first source and this is second source RT. Okay, so let's, let's specify it's like this. Then in the binary format, uh, the first five bit, first five bit is first source, okay, the first source. So for, for example, add dollar one, dollar two, dollar three, then here zero, 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 one, zero is stored, two, two is stored in this binary. And next five bit is representing RT, second source. Okay, so here in this case, zero, 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 one, one, dollar three. And another five bit is representing destination, which is zero, 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 one. In the example. Okay. So still how many bits are remaining? So there are total 32 bit and we are using the uh, only 21, so there is 11 bits left, right? 11 bits left. Okay. Um, for the shift operation, like a shift left. So what's the format of the shift left or shift right? It is like this, dollar one, dollar two. And here we are specifying some constant value, right? Like four or five. This is constant. 
So maybe you can think that, okay, uh, SSL shift operation will be belonging to the I format, right? But actually it's not. So shift operation is also R format. The reason is, let's think about the, this constant value. What's the maximum size of this constant? When you're shifting, how many bits you can shift? Uh, 32, right? So 32. So you just need to specify zero to the 31 in the constant value in the shift operation. So we just need five bit to specify the shift amount. So this five bit is called shift amount. Okay. So that area is only used by shift operation. So for instance, add instruction case, shift amount area is just, is not used at all. So maybe you can add any value. So on the shift amount area is only used by the shift operation. And then still we have six bit, right? Six bit. That part is used for the, is called function. But actually this is just like a operation. This is operation. So what does it mean is R from a case Really R from a case, OP code is just zero, okay? So R from a case, OP code is zero, everything is zero. And RS is there, RT is there, RD is there. And for the shift operation, there is a shift amount is there. And here, this six bit, this six bit is actually representing the operation. Okay, so add operation case. Uh, th this last six bit will be, uh, there is, I think, one zero 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 zero. One zero 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 zero. Okay, so last six bit is one zero zero. And uh, subtraction case, uh, let me look at it. Maybe. Okay. Subtraction case, the function part is one zero 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 one zero. Okay, so that's the function part. So for each uh, arithmetic and logical operation for R format, the OP code part is zero and function part is actually presenting the operation. So like and the case, it will be one zero zero one zero zero. Okay. So these are defined. Okay, uh, maybe uh, I actually unload MIPS simulator PDF, right? In the portal site. So in that uh, PDF, you can see this format. Okay, so then uh, let's think about the the add dollar one dollar two dollar three that operation for them code the encoding result is zero 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 so op code is six bit that is zero and rs that is zero 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 one zero rt zero 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 one one rd zero 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 one and shift amount 
this is not related to the shift operation, so it will be zero, 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 zero. And function will be one, zero, 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 zero. So this is sort of bit, right? So let's try to write down into the hex hexadecimal. So what's the hexadecimal code for that one? So we just need to forbid the presentation, right? This, this is zero, zero, and this is what? Four, right? This is three, zero, eight, two, zero. Okay, so zero, zero. So if you can see that, Zero zero four three zero eight two zero. Then you have to know that okay, this is a head operation and source register is a dollar two and dollar three and destination is dollar one. Okay, if you are the machine, but you are not machine, so it's very difficult to, to analyze. But anyway, if the table is given, then you can do it right, even though it uh, it takes time. You can decode it right. Okay, so then let's look at the really this is uh, happening. Okay, so let's go to the simulator. Okay, go to the simulator. Okay, so let's write down the add instruction, add dollar one, two, dollar three. So I mentioned this will be zero, zero, four, three, zero, eight, two, zero, right? So that will be encoding. So let's really look at whether this is really happening, okay? So let's do the assembly load, okay? So here, let's look at the CPU status. Actually, we just look at the, these registers, right? We just look at the registers, but actually there is another register, which is PC is also register and instruction is also register. Actually this instruction is storing the current instruction. Okay, so the current instruction is add, right? This instruction. So when you are looking at the, this instruction, then you can see that the binary is 00430820, right? So the, is actually this add instruction, right? Zero, zero, four, three, zero, eight, two, zero. So that is instruction. That is fetched instruction, which will be executed in the processor. So the processor is looking at this binary and then decoding it and then do the uh, operation. So let's go back and let's try to some other dollar. One. I don't know what is binary, but anyway, let's do the things. So first instruction is the first instruction. If I'm pressing the step, then it is changing, right? So that binary is representing at dollar one, dollar one, dollar. Okay. Subtraction. Step, second one, third, okay, zero, zero, four, three, zero, eight, two, two. So this much is actually same to the first one, but last four bit is different, right? Zero, zero, one, zero, that's last four bit. Okay, so for given bits code, you can generate this instruction, right? If the uh, function and OP codes are given. Right, so you can do it. Okay, so then this is your turn. Um, and 
dollar three, dollar two, dollar one. That operation is given. Then what is binary? So can you compute it by yourself? That's the binary. If you can, I mean, you can do it using the simulator, but can you do it by yourself manually instead of using the simulator? So definitely you can check using the simulator so by hand. If we are uh, completing this one, then subtraction. Dollar two, dollar one, dollar three. What is this binary? So if you are completing the place, time your answer in the chat window.
Okay, so I think everyone can do it, right? So the first bit is six bit is zero. And three, the first source is two, zero, 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 one, zero. And second source is one, zero, 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 one. And destination is three, zero, 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 one, one. And shift amount is zero. And function part will be one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. So if you are changing to the hexadecimal, then uh, you can see that it will be zero, zero, four, one, one, eight, two, four. Okay. So similarly, the next one subtraction case also zero, 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 zero. And source is zero, 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 one. Second source is three. Destination is two. And shift amount part is zero. And subtraction is one, zero, 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 one, zero. Okay, so if you're encoding into the hexadecimal, you can see that zero, zero, two, three, one, zero, two, two. Okay, so that's the alphabet. So for given any uh, instruction which is the alphabet, then uh, you can know that uh, this is the binary, right? Okay, so we learn about that. Next one, we will learn about the I format. Uh, like add I. And I. Load. Store. So these instructions are belonging to this I format. So here, in this case, there are two registers, right? And one constant value. So the format is the same. The first six bit is called OP code. So I format case OP codes is actually containing the operation. Okay. And the first five bit is source register. And another five bit that is generally destination at the case, or is this second source? So RT or RD. Okay, it's depending on the uh, instruction. At the I case, it is destination, and uh, store operation case, it will be the second source. So simply, we are, let's say this is RT. So RT is uh, containing whether it's a second source or it can be destination. And how many bits are remaining? How many bits are remaining? And there are 16 bits. Okay. So this using the 16 bit, we can be presenting the constant value. So then add I case. What's the maximum size of constant value? What's the maximum size? What's the range of this thing? Using the 16 bit, what's the range of this constant value? What's the minimum value and what's the maximum value using the 16 bits? Yeah, maximum is two to the, but it is actually, it is two complement. So we can represent negative value also. Okay, so using the 16, yeah, it will be two to the 15 minus one, and it's minus two to the 15. Okay. So that's the range of constant value. If the immediate part constant value is larger than the 16, then we cannot represent using the single instruction. We have to use some uh, more than one instruction. Okay, so then uh, let's look at uh, some example. Add I, 
dollar one, dollar two, and five. Okay, so then what's the binary of that? So here in this case, first we have to know about the, the insertion, right? First, we have to the instruction. So add I case, the OP code is um, 001100, 001100, okay. Uh, and I case, that will be, Oh, no, no, this is N. Zero, zero, one, zero, zero. That's the at I, and I case, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero. Okay. Uh, load case, load word, that case it is, one, zero, zero. One zero 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 one one. Okay. Store word case it is one zero one zero one. Okay, so this kind of uh, thing is given. Then what will be the binary for this add i? The first six bit is zero 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 one zero zero zero. Okay, that's the operation. And what's the source register? Source register is dollar two, right? So zero, 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 one, zero. And RT destination is one, right? Dollar one, that's the destination. So zero, 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 one, okay. And five. Here, using 16 bits. Okay, so we have to use the 16 bit. So five is actually, what is it? One, zero, one, right? One, zero, one. Okay. Boom. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So that's the middle. So if we are translating to the hexadecimal. This is two, zero, four, one, zero, 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 five. Okay. This is the format. Then, what is binary to think of? Load, dollar one, eight, dollar two. Then what's the binary and exponential value? So here, load dollar one, dollar two, eight, okay. Dollar two is a source and dollar one is destination, constant is eight, okay.
and also what's the store? Comma one a dot. If you are completing, please, you type your answer in the chat window. So we already know that load case, it is starting one, zero, 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 one, one. The law two is zero, 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 one, zero. The law one is zero, 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 one. Eight is zero, 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 eight. Okay. Similarly, store case, it will be one, zero, one, zero, one, one, and the other is the same. So this is eight C two. What the two is four and one zero 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 eight. This is. A, and then C, four, one, zero, 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 eight. Right. So let's look at the uh, simulator, whether this is really happening. Okay. So let's put add I first, add I, comma one, comma two, five, this should be. Two zero four one zero 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 five. Load comma one eight comma two. We should be a c four one zero 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 eight. Four comma one eight. So that's what we are computing. Okay, so let's get the first one is 2041005. It's the same thing. Next instruction, which will be AC41008. It's the same. And then following one store, AC41008. Okay, so this is equivalent, right? So we can check it. Okay. 
So uh, you are learning about the alphabet and alphabet. So for any given instructions, if you know the, the operation OP code and function part, then you can translate into the machine code, right? So the opposite also possible. If machine code is given, then based on that, you can translate, right? Into the MIPS code. So if the first operation is zero, then it is actually alphabet. Okay. So the first the six bit is zero, then it's alphabet. Okay. So you can do it. Um, okay. So we're about the iPhone. Okay, everything. Okay, so then let's look at the, how the programs are stored in the computer systems. Okay. As you you can see that the instructions is just binary, right? Instructions are binary, just value. Value is interpreted as an instruction, okay? So if you are looking at the memory, then memory is containing many values. Some parts are instruction and some parts are data, right? So everything is just mixed. So if you are looking at the memory, then some something are interpreted as Machine code, just binary. Some another code or some binary, binary, and some data or also data or data. So whether we are um, interpreting that binary into the text or this data or it's a machine code is totally dependent on the what kind of uh, what kind of application you are running. Okay, so totally dependent on. So anyway, instruction and data are stored in the memory. Okay, so if we are just looking at the memory, then we don't know that binary is representing the instruction or is it representing data. We can't distinguish. We can't distinguish at all. And uh, programs can operate on the program, right? So some operating system operation, operating system case, can learn some another program. Parler can do that. Binary compatibility, that means the inst if the instruction set is equal. So the instruction format is equal, then we can learn that binary into the some another uh, processor. So that is called binary compatibility. So anyway, let's look at how the uh, processor is learning its instruction. So there is a processor. There is a memory. Then memory is containing some binary. So some place, it has some binary. One, zero, 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 zero to something. Like this, okay? So these are stored. Then instruction should be generating the address. So it's giving the address, like address 1000. Then that content is fetched. It's loaded. Then is stored into the instruction register. Instruction register. One, zero, 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 zero. Okay. And then this instruction register is decoded. Okay, so by looking at the, the six first, uh, by looking at the, the first six bit, then Okay, it is all time. Okay, all format. Then, okay, so this is the first source. Okay, then it is doing some operation. Operation and then update register. Or it can do some 
by writing into the memory. Okay. So it's interacting with register. So reading data from the register, and then result is stored into the register. After that, it is generating the next address, 1004. So 1004 is containing some other binary. 000000. zero, 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 zero. So then the following, these following binaries are fetched into the instruction register and then it is executed, okay? So every cycle, every clock cycle, new instructions are, new instructions are fetched and then that is executed. Executed means that it is updating the register value, okay? So then here, what we need is we need the generation of address to be fetched from the memory, right? So that value is storing to the some register, which is called PC. So PC is containing the address to be executed. PC means it's a program count. So from counter is not counting the how many number, how many instructions are executed. Program counter is actually pointing the memory location to be executed. Okay. So this PC value is generally updated by four every cycle. So when it's executing one instruction, then next PC is increased by four. Okay. Um, for almost every instruction except like a go to statement or if statement, for if statement. These are changing the PC value. So normally PC value is increased by four, but like a go to statement, if statement, for if in that case, PC value is not changed to the by four. Okay, so that is, this instruction is called control statement. Uh, so let's look at really this address is uh, increasing. Okay, so let's go to the simulator. Okay, so we are going to the simulator. Okay, so let's do the reset. Okay, so then what is the PC value here? Can you see the PC? Right? So what's the PC value? 40000, right? So which means that this processor is reading the memory location of this one. Okay, so then let's go to that location in the memory. So let's press the lookup, then what is stored? In this memory location, you can see that this four bit, four byte, and this four byte. This four byte, and this four byte are stored, right? Okay. So first, zero zero uh, four zero zero is given. Then these values are actually loaded. This is fetched and then stored into the instruction register. Instruction is this here. So two zero four one zero 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 five. That is stored in here. Okay. And then if you are pressing the step, then PC value will be four zero 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 four. Okay. So it will be increased by four. So press that is increased by four, right? And then what is the address of 40004. So this is 40000, 40001, 2, 3, 4. This is starting. 
Okay, this is starting off 40004. From here, we are reading one word, which is four byte, AC41008. Okay, so that is patched here. So waiting for to be executed after patching. And then if we are pressing the step, then PC is increased by another four. So it is 4008. 4008 is, is starting from here. Well, you can see that you can do it and it's starting, right? So you can give any location here. This is starting. So starting is, is four, five, six, seven. This is eight. Or if we are giving eight directly, then this is eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So this is fetched. They say for one zero 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 eight. That is fetched here. Okay. So can you understand what? thing is stored in the memory. So memory is contained actually the instruction. Who is the store this instruction in the, this memory? Actually operating system. So when you are clicking the program, when you're starting the program, then operating system is reading the binary from the storage like a disk and then that binary is stored into the memory, like this. Then operating system is jumping to this location. So PC value is changed to this location. So that is the program launching. So when you're When you are when you start a program A, which means that the program is in the bind, uh, in the disk, right? In a storage. So if you are starting, then OS load loader binary from from the storage and store store the binary into memory at some location right at some address Address. Address will be like, uh, let's say this is address B. And then, with change PC to pointing this B. Then, the binary at the location B is starting to be executed. The instruction or binary at B starts to be executed. So that's the procedure of launching an application by OS. So when you are pressing the double click on some application, then this is really happening. So for instance, loading the binary from the storage and then store into the memory. And then the operating system is jumping to jumping or changing the PC value to the location. So this changing of PC value that is called control instruction or that is called jump instruction or branch instruction. It is called branch or jump instruction. 
So we will learn about this instruction first. So uh, let's try to look at this uh, control instruction next time. Okay. Uh, so shift operation, we already know that, right? Shift operation, bit operation, logic operation. We know that, so skip about that. End operation, war operation, another operation. Okay. So next time we'll learn about this conditional operation, which is include, which is a supporting if statement, and for loop, and while loop. Okay, so we'll learn about that. Okay, uh, any question? No question? Okay, that's you on Monday. Bye.